In this recording, I'm going to show you how to format tables using CSS. I happen to be using Optana Studio, but you could use Dreamweaver or any other development environment. I just like one that changes colors for the different types of commands that we're using. So I'm in an HTML5 document, and in the head section of the document, I've included my style sheet for my tables. Let's take a quick preview of the formatting here. You'll notice that I have every other line colored. That can help you um, see things. It helps them line up for the eye. I don't really love this color, so I'm going to show you how to change it in Optana because there's some cool tricks to that. But let's take a look at the HTML code first. I have my HTML code where I have my body, my table with a border set to zero, it's got a caption, I have my table headings, and then every other line I'm applying a class equals blue. I also have a class equals name. And so let's take a look at the formatting that I've done in CSS. We've set the back body background here, we've set the font family to a sans serif font family, and the font size to 1 EM. The table has a border of none. I also did that in HTML because not every browser is rendering that correctly. I put a bold font weight on my caption and I have set padding of 5 pixels and color. I have defined the table headings which are right here, area, number, name, credits, and you know that it's, we're actually redefining the TH code right here. So we're redefining the TH tags. This isn't a class, we're actually setting tag properties. We've got the padding set and the alignment set for my standard table or cell definition and aligning to center. Uh, the only one that doesn't do that, I redefine it and it's the most current one so it overrides the TD. If I'm in the name class for TD, it's doing a text align of left. As you can see, I'm setting that up with a class equals name. And then I have a TR blue that sets my class equals blue. And those are all applied here so that you can see each row though I made it pink, was blue. Let's make it back to blue. I'm going to delete the color here. And I want to show you in Optana, I'm actually picking the command option, which you can't see, but it has an insert color feature for CSS. And you can pick, I like the crayon view, let's pick a little pale blue here. And if I take it over to the color wheel if I want I can go a little late, lighter in that shade. I could go darker, lighter. I tend to like fairly light shading for backgrounds. So let's go ahead and close this and it'll insert the color that we picked. And then I can save that and I can preview it again. And now my background color is actually blue so my description for it is correct. So it is very handy to do some formatting on table structures and it makes them significantly more attractive. And you'll notice that I did initially set all of the cells to be centered and then I overwrote it for the name column where I have a blue identifier where I'm modifying, or a name identifier where I'm modifying so that the names are left aligned because I do, would not like these centered. So you can do some really nice work making things more attractive and you can define each option here and you can further define them TR blue, TR TD name specifically applying to those sections of the table. So that's formatting tables with CSS.